Hello everyone, my name is Eric and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode, we're going to create a Facebook page banner that should be compatible with desktop and mobile. As usual, I'm going to create it using Figma. Okay, so first up, I grab this uh, template from Snappa, which says that you need an 820 pixels width and a 360 pixels height for your image. So that's what I did with the frame. Then I grab the design elements that I already used on my channel. As you can see, this was from the previous video about animation. Then I set out to make the guides. These gray areas are actually the same as the blue on the Snappa guide. On the left and on the right, you can see that those are just visible on the desktop and not for mobile. Therefore, the actual area that is safe to design, that you, where your design is safe or cannot, will not be cut, is on that white space inside the borders. Again, I tried getting some of the design elements. I'm just trying to grab the correct background, background color. There you go. I added a circle. Then I added the text design. So basically, all that's going to follow now is just the designing of it. But, so you can see this red margins, this is where your important stuff or your, what we call as live design like your tags or logo should be inside because this is where you are sure that it's visible in both desktop and mobile. Outside those uh, red guides, it will be cut. So here I was trying to create tools, tried to make ampersand a little bit bigger, then talks, Basically, I just wanted to say design tools and talks. At this point, I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm just playing around with it. Trying to make the plus. I don't see any good um, layout so far. The, any layout that I like so far so I'm just playing around with it maybe this one where they're all aligned then I need to grab some of the elements like these lines these angled lines my name, of course. Still don't know where to put it. Some more design elements lesser opacity if you can see on the right it's passed through it's 23 percent for this circle it's the same color circle as the one on the left but it's just lesser opacity then i move this cross around not sure where i get but i'm just trying stuff here then another circle Trying to create some depth. I 
again basically this part is just your designing but the rules were in the beginning in the in the guides see this this red lines these are the guides this is where your design element should be inside those that are outside the these huge circles that can be cut off in mobile but that's fine they're they're not like what we call live designs so i tried to make the word design a bit bigger move the cross see how it's looking and then tools and talks maybe they can be on top of each other again I didn't plan on what my look should be I'm just experimenting here trying to find something that's visually balanced just winging it not looking at grids or anything okay and then I tried to add on the left so it's a little bit balanced I tried to put my, the name of my YouTube channel the URL, so it's youtube.com slash Eric Briones. Try the color, but maybe lighter one. Mm, still doesn't look very good, but try the stylized design where it's just the stroke, it's just the outline. But it's it's a font it's it's bison thick outline font maybe this could be white and that's it thank you for watching